guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlene. And today I want to talk about my 2022. You may say, Char, it's November. I know, but my 2022 Bible reading plan. So y'all know I have come to realization that my mind be all over the place. I be random and I seem to respond better to random reading during chronological reading. I tried. I tried reading plans. I tried doing it on my own, y'all. It just does not work. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm here to talk to the people who may actually have the same problem I do. So I finally found a reading plan that had me like, mm-hmm. Because you read something different every day, but ultimately the goal is completion. Like you're going to finish, but you're reading at random. So, and I'm going to have the link down below in case you guys want to do this with me. I found a reading plan that is, is labeled as one year reading plan, daily reading, and they put in the order of months then days so on here I, as you can see like the first page three pages january february march april and then of course you have um may june july august then you have september october november december then if you look real closely at this listing right it actually has like the first day you're going to read genesis one through three and then the second day you go into joshua one through five and then the third day, you go through Psalms 1 through 2. Now, what I like about this is, <laughs> interesting enough, like I said, the goal and the finish line is still going to look the same. You're still going to finish in a year, but it's at random. And what I also like about this is if I skip a day, I don't feel like I lost anything because I'm not reading in an order where I can look and say, ooh, I missed a couple of days. You get what I'm saying? Versus I missed a passage of scriptures. You know, something that you can easily make up without feeling guilty or shame. That's just how I'm looking at it. And I'm just like, aha, Lord, thank you for this. I print my, me, at, um, y'all, <laughs> I'm just so antsy. I print one out for myself and I print one out for my daughter. So we will be implementing this on our channel together, which is Study Girl as well as this channel here. I might even post it on the Twist and Shout channel because I took a poll and many of you guys said you miss having the blend of faith content with the hair content, you know? <laughs> but I just did what was best for me because I felt like with the hair content, I feel like the goal was to push it, to get the views, to get the response and all that and stuff and to grow the channel versus with the faith channel, it's like, look, if you're coming over here, you're coming over here. No pressure, but I'm doing the will of God. I separated for myself for the most part, but I don't mind shooting a video here and there about faith on the other channel as well. And if you don't know, the study girl channel is for the young, the youth, the children, preteens, teens, young adults. Like that's why we're working together. And eventually I want to actually, I want her to graduate into like making that her channel, but we're grooming right now. But anyway, if you want to join in on me, join in with me, <laughs> then this is the plan I will be doing. And honestly, I might not even wait until 2022. I might actually start doing this now or at least after I finish Ezekiel. I want to finish Ezekiel and then I probably come in here and check off and start going. We are, this is November the 13th. Is I don't look like I said, y'all know how I feel about dates and stuff like this. Hey, if you I, if I stumble across this today, I have every right to start today and then make November my year, which would be awesome because that's my birthday month. And what a great birthday gift to say you finished reading the Bible, right? And this is not the only plan like this. There's others, but I like this because, like I said, you have the check marks and you have the months, so you can really see and constructively criticize, you know, how consistent you were depending on the seasons, the months, the times, um, what was going on, you know, like your busier months versus your less busy months, 
you know, you get to kind of see where your strengths and your weaknesses are and to help you improve in the future. Again, that's why I highly, now that I even said that, I highly recommend people to use this. And I will link it below. And like I said, you can print it out. I print black and white. Um, the only difference is the shadowing behind it is blue. But I don't need to waste my color ink for that because I can still read it. Um, as you can see, like I said, this is black and white print and you can still read it. You still have your check marks. I am excited to start this and I want to implement this with you guys. Like I want you guys to tag along with me just like you guys did with the progress reading. I appreciate that. I do still plan on doing reading through different books of the Bible like we did um, Proverbs. Well, Proverbs was off camera. Revelation was on camera. Um, now, I believe I just started one. What was it, Char? I just started on um, 1 Peter. I'm going to read 1 Peter on camera, and we're going to do a checklist with that too. And we're going to literally get through the Bible, and we're not only just going to rush through and speed through, but we're going to have comprehension and understanding and wisdom from God's holy word. Amen. That's the goal. So if you guys want to know what I want to do for 2022, this is the goal. But knowing me, I had went ahead and got a head start. I went ahead and printed it. I already got my plan in motion and I'm sharing this with you guys um, as part of a, uh, what's the word? Um, just making sure that I do it, you know, because when you present things before people and you say you're going to do something, you need to keep your word because interrogate is everything. But anyway, let me know if you're interested or if you see or feel like you know of a better reading plan because I did stumble across a three year and a five year and I still don't rule those out because they work for someone but I also have to be realistic because with those I understand that if I'm going to read sl slower I have more time to really dissect and go into the word but I have to be realistic also which is why I like this because even if I go through the first year and every single thing isn't marked off, the next year I can come back and say, let me fill in the void, you know? And with the new baby coming, who knows? You know, who knows what's going to happen? Maybe she'll be sweet and don't cry as much and I can get a lot of reading done. Or maybe she's cranky and I have to compromise. You never know. But we're going to get something done. Amen. So just want to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.